So if y'all really want to try to come up off a check off a man, I mean, you could just fuck an athlete. They're really dumb. <laughs> what are these search results? Oh my lord. Oh my goodness, these tweets are wild. These are fucking wild. Oh my lord, he won't stop. Oh my goodness, he's still going. He's still going. Okay, I wasn't even going to make a video on this. You know, I've known about this for a while. I wasn't going to make a video on this. This has made its way to my phone like five times. I've had like five different friends, different group chats. People keep bringing this up to me, right? You guys are bringing this up to me. I wasn't going to make a video on this. Then I seen this video that came out today, and it was basically like Brittany ran a few years ago saying athletes are dumb and easy to finesse. So if y'all really want to try to come up off a check off a of man, I mean, you could just fuck an athlete. They're really dumb. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make a video on it. And this story is actually a lot deeper than, than I. Alright, so, um, so PJ Washington, right? He, um, he got a chance to pull Brittany Renner, you know? Um, we all know who she is, you know? We've all seen her before, you know? We've all, you know? Um, and he's younger than me, you know? And I've known about it for a while. So, so basically, you know, he got in the league, you know? Got in the league. Finally, in the NBA, it's lit. You know, you get these new girls. Brittany came along. Bad as hell. Now, keep in mind, when Brittany did, by the time he met Brittany, Brittany had already done a lot. Um, I think she had already dropped a book by that time, outlining a lot of different relationships. There was already a lot of different articles, websites, so it's not like, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm not, I feel bad for PJ Tucker, I do. It's a fucked up situation, I'm not even here to make fun of him, I feel bad for him. Because the whole time I was looking at it, way before any of this happened and they broke up, I was kind of looking at it like that, so I feel bad for him. Um... But at the same time, he definitely has a role to play in this, bro. You gotta, you know, like I get that you were young. So that's, that's the main thing. That's the main thing that a lot of people are saying is that he was young. And I get it. If you're young, it's hard to like, you don't know much, you know? So yeah, he, he, he tweeted and deleted you were faking it the whole time. Um, this is pretty crazy. Look at this. About to be 27. He's 18. I mean, she looks great in that photo. <laughs> she don't look 27 in that photo. She was, but she didn't look like it. I mean, hey. Woo! It's a tough situation, you know? Um, so basically what happened... So let me, I haven't even told you guys what happened. Okay, so, Brittany, Brittany Renner signed a contract with the, uh, the NFA, the National Finesse Association. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, okay, bro, I didn't even know they were married. What the hell? Wait, what, did they, did they even get married? I don't know if they ever, I don't know, I don't know, don't quote me on that. All I know is they broke up. I think they did get married. They broke up a month after the baby came out. And he is ordered to pay over half of his salary. 
$200,000 a month. Every year for 18 years. That's $43 million. Um, and if he gets a bigger contract, she might be able to get more monthly too. So this is, like I said, this is not a joke. I didn't come here to make fun of him. This is, this is, all right, just so I can be 100% transparent, I'm sitting over here editing the video and shit, right? Okay, so then I noticed that one of these articles said that Brittany Renner, before she deactivated her shit, she actually said that it's not true. And she thought the people thought it was a joke. So she says it's not true. I thought it was 100% confirmed, but I'm not sure. I think we can use this, I think we can all use this as a learning experience, hopefully. Especially for the younger people out there. You know, my niggas that are Mikey age, you know what I mean? A little bit younger than Mikey, a little bit older than Mikey, you know? Not that I think Mikey would do this because I don't. I'm just saying, like, people in that age group, that demographic, pay attention to this, man. Shit, even I can look at this. This is it, man. This is it's tough. It's tough. You know? And I'm 26, right? And if I was at the one of the best 18 year old college girls games in the world i would look crazy would i not that would look crazy that look that would look crazy so i mean she didn't look crazy she looked bad as hell i'm just saying, i'm just saying hey it's tough Yeah, they did get married. Tough. <laughs> chill, 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 chill. <laughs> she deactivated her Twitter. Okay. Um, so yeah, listen, Stephen A has a saying, and then I'm going to get out of here. Stephen A has a saying. Did I get the eight minute mark? I don't know. I might have, I might not have. I don't think I did. Anyways, <laughs> let me slow this down. <laughs> nah, but Stephen A has a saying. Stephen A has a saying. If it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it ain't a damn mongoose. Okay? If she was 26 at your game at 18, PJ. And a month after you had the baby, not fucking five years later, a month after you had the baby, right? If it looked like a duck, right? Is it, was that the, it, looked, it looked like a duck, right? And then a month after the baby, it quacked like a duck, right? It ain't a mongoose, you know? It is not a mongoose. Um... I'm sure there's probably more details I don't know, so you guys can drop those below. You can drop the Britney Renner stories, or I don't know, maybe we should. <laughs> I don't know if I should. Anyways, I'm out of here, bro. I'm out of here. That's all. That's all I got for today. I didn't even look to see like what videos they were to do. I just made up my mind that I was gonna do this, and I didn't even like, you know what I mean? Um, I dropped a new photo on like mines today. It's going crazy. And I dropped a photo on my Instagram yesterday, my personal Instagram. Um, I'm getting ready to drop this month. I got pants, shirts, hats, hoodies, windbreakers, masks. You know what I'm saying? We got hella shit. I'm very excited. I dropped a pretty fire design, man. Go check it out. Go show some support. Um... As always, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And I will be back tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but I'll be back tomorrow, man. Peace. I think I got the 8-minute mark now. We're good. <laughs>
Shout out my nigga Tyler, man. Um, congrats.